Hi, this is Bob Griffin, your host for Stepping Into the Future, and I want to welcome you to another program today. You know, Jesus is manifesting his signs and wonders and miracles to his disciples first. And this is a day to take a drink of this new wine. There is so much that's going on right now as God is both manifesting his glory, pouring out signs and wonders and miracles, and today is your day of visitation. So open up your heart, extend your faith today, and welcome the Holy Spirit right where you are. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made welcome. We're going to get ready to praise the Lord tonight, and we're glad that you're here. Let's worship Him. So you want Jesus and God the Father and the angels to follow it. The prophet comes first. You receive the prophet, you get a prophet's reward. You see what they see, hear what they hear, and speak what they speak. Then, if you receive the prophet, then you get Jesus, because the prophet prepares the way for him. That's why John the Baptist was leaping in the womb at the nearness of Jesus. The prophet came six months behind was Jesus. Oh, Y'all are going to get this. Somebody paid a price for tonight. Could you imagine if we hadn't met tonight? Oh, y'all have been sitting around eating a hamburger, taking Rolades eating a Snickers bar and a Pepsi-Cola at the end of the night. Come on. I am crazy. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. I am crazy. I'm crazy for Jesus. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. See, what we don't know is that God wants us to empty ourselves out so that he can fill us. When he sent the prophet to the gate, he said, look, go there, and, and I want her to sustain you. I've commanded a blessing. I've come here because God has commanded a blessing, both for you and for me. But when the prophet got there, he said, look, give me a drink of water. Well, that was a sacrifice. There had been a drought for three and a half years. Then as soon as she gave the offering, the first one, he increased the demand and offered a second time. He said, now I want another offering. She said, well, as the Lord lives, I just got a little, little bitty fire. See, me and my son are going to eat it. And we're going to die. So she possessed a die vision. That was her vision. My son and I are going to eat it and we're going to die. She said, look, we just got a little bit of oil, a little bit of flour, a little bitty cake, a little bitty fire. I'm going to eat it, my son's going to eat it, and we are going to die. He's like, well, good. But bake me a cake first. Wow. Can you imagine the audacity of that prophet showing up when I have nothing in the water? Sister, come here. Come here. Something happened with you this week. What happened? Um, my dog was healed. Tell me what happened. Um, he was blinded, and now he can see again. <laughs> what <laughs> happened? Yeah, why did you bring a blind dog to a meeting? Someone wanted him to be healed. Amen. We knew that it could happen, and it did. Amen. Amen. So what happened? What do you remember about that night? I remember you with your... You were there, too. <laughs> yeah. Amen. What did you guys tell me about your dog? Um, he's just a little over a year old, and he doesn't see well, and it's just getting worse by the day. Um, I was telling you, we didn't have children, so he's like our child. Right. And it hurts every day to see him running into stuff. And, right. and bumping into and, the uh, table. And You told us you'd like to lay your hands on him, and once you started, you said, you know, once, once you hit us, and once we got back to our senses, you said, get up and go get him. Yeah. And we went home, got him, you laid your hands on him, you rubbed your thumbs on his eyes. I spit on my thumbs. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. And since then... My dog can see. Amen. When you, when you put your hand in front of it. And the dog is an evangelist. I'm going to remember this now. Because the dog, the testimony of that dog is bringing people to Christ. Thank you for joining us today on this broadcast of Stepping Into the Future.
with Bob Griffin and Life Changes Ministries International. To contact us, please go to our website at bobgriffin.org or write us at Life Changes Ministries International, P.O. Box 52, Mary Esther, Florida, 32569. And remember, only through Jesus can life really change. Yeah.